wanted to do is give you a couple tips just from um, us having been through this before, uh, a couple things that we wish we knew before we started the new student conferences in the summer. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to start out from the inside looking out. This is from the OL perspective, so words from us. Okay, so how to student track. <coughs> Okay, the actual process um, as to how to be a good insight leader, like always know how to deal with sticky situations and like facilitate your group. Um, practice your icebreakers so you're really familiar with them. They're like, that's how you're gonna get your group pumped up and get them to know each other and things like that. Um, and uh, spieling, um, or what, what, what scenarios are. So th those happen during family track. Um, you may just get thrown into a scenario. Usually we take voluntold people um, to do them. Uh, but it's just like a scenario of what could happen at, like, while the new student is at school and, like, what the family members um, could kind of do to resolve that situation. Um, and then spieling, you're going to be doing this a lot. So how do you welcome to Aggieland? What's your last name? Um, more practice with spieling before the first check-in. That way you're really comfortable with it and you don't get tongue-tied or anything. Okay. Um, so we talked a, bit, a little bit about what mingling was, um, so we're going to tell you how to mingle well. Um, really just be yourself, get level with the new students. They're only, for the most part, they're only a year or two younger than you, um, even if they're a bit older, if they're a non-traditional student. They're still um, generally in your age group and you can relate to them about a lot of different things. Um, so some good topics to start off with are the Texas heat, because it'll be present in the summer for sure, uh, your hometown, class year. Um, how excited they are to be a college student already, or a family member of the college student if you're not talking to the new student, um, and how it, how it feels to be a fight in Texas Aggie. Woo! Uh, and another thing was about parking. Um, so there's a lot of different options for you. It opens up more during the summer um, than during the year. Uh, you can find maps and things on parking.tamu.edu, um, and West Campus Garage and Lot 61 just across Wellborn are free for any valid permit. Um, and also, if you're only Oh, hello. I think we need to um, move. If you're only going to be here for like the month of June, say, you can get a temporary yeah. one month Make permit. Make some movements. Or if you don't have one, you can buy um, prorated any law permits. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about family members in general. So don't be scared of them because they're like really nervous. So you shouldn't be nervous. And then also don't assume that someone's a family member because there are a lot of non-traditional students, so they might look like a parent, but really there's a student. So again, use the inclusive language. Uh, water bottles, uh, definitely bring water bottles, especially if you're doing check-in because you'll get quite parched. Um, <laughs> yeah, because you'll be talking a lot, so yeah. And um, students in general, they're actually very nervous. Like if you remember your NSC, you were really nervous to be here, most likely. Um, so again, be excited and get them excited and don't be scared, be Yonce. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write that. So. so now we're going to talk about Spotlight. If you're walking around campus or anything, like even if it's after a program or like before you go to a program and you have a little more time in there in a little wiggle room, just don't like awkwardly like by a stand a parent or a family member that's trying to figure out where they're going. They might come up and ask you questions because they might see you at, especially if you're doing trailblazing at, they'll see you at, have seen you at family track, student track, welcome session, check in, because you might have checked them in. So if you have time, stop there and do help them because it comes back on you because they send really nice emails out to everyone and it always comes back to you because they're like, oh, this nice person did this, this, and this, and then you can be like, oh, that was me. So um, if you do not, I will find you. <laughs> Just to make sure. <laughs> Very rapid, it's cold. Woo! <laughs> so this is basically like break a jacket, especially if you're working morning check-ins, because when it's a room full of no one but yourselves, it can be quite cold, or it can be mad brick, uh, which is basically cold. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Rudder? You will get this question more times than you know it. Um, every time that you hear it, act like it's the first time that you've heard it because this is the family member's first time coming up to you and asking you where it's right. So please don't be disrespectful to them. Uh, direct them accordingly. You know, you'll get really good at hand motion saying, Rudder is this way. Or, or right across the street. Like, just, you know, make a left by the construction. 
Be afraid of the execs. Hashtag scary black polo. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to be afraid. Most of them will not bite. I don't think. Uh, but <laughs> make sure that you utilize them and all of their knowledge of AOP things. And then don't be afraid to come to your OLMs either. Don't forget about us. We need love too. We love you just a little more than they do. <laughs> Ow. Sorry. The more you put in, the more you get out. So basically, this is just enjoy your new student conference experience. I know the summer went by so fast for me and I was glad to have come back. But it's like any chance that you get, if you want to come, come out and help. We're always we're always welcoming to new help. Come get some free dinner. I mean I didn't have to go for half of the summer because I could just come and eat. So this is from the outside looking in. These are kind of some things that maybe some new students wish they would have known. Okay, so uh, knowing things about moving on campus, um, especially like the later NSCs when they're about to move in, uh, just know like where to direct them. And a lot of questions will be asked about like what's best for them to park, and you can direct them to the uh, the main office of President's Life, <laughs> which is in the lower blue. How do I schedule? So um, a lot of these new students are going to be really worried about like picking classes and things like that, um, and they really don't want to wait until the day that they have to pick classes to like, look at classes. So don't be afraid to refer them to their academic college's website to find uh, like a common degree plan to look at the classes that they'll be taking. Um, also, college is scary. They're, they're scared to be coming here, um, and that's understandable. So family members and new students will want to know your experience. And don't be intimidated to tell them your experience. Um, just don't scare them too much. Um, but definitely, they'll appreciate your insight into what you went through. Now, do we have any questions in general over commonly asked questions, LPisms, or anything as such? Um, where is the check-in going to be?